book of Revelation is the most complex and mysterious book of the Bible. Its end time prophecies fascinate and frighten. Are these prophecies just a legend? Is the book of Revelation based on geographic, historical, and archaeological reality? The image we have of Revelation is the end times. It's explosive, it's Hollywood. In the past, it wasn't like this at all. Following in the footsteps of the Apostle Paul, John, and the first Christians, I went to find clues in the archaeological sites of Asia Minor and to meet specialists. I wanted to understand this text and its message. In New Testament scholarship, there is very much a bit controversy. Uh, John the prophet that we have in the book of Revelation is the same person who's the uh, author of the fourth gospel and the letters of John. The Apostle John arrived in Patmos as an exile. He was deported by the Romans. This book is presented as a revelation from Christ and begins with a series of letters written to seven churches all located in present-day Turkey. Who are these seven churches? Do they have something to tell us today? As I travel through Asia Minor, this land of adventure inhabited by legends and myths, my journey became much more than a simple investigation. It turned into a personal quest for meaning. This is the reason for the symbolism in the book of Revelation. It uses images to help us see things. The Seven Churches of Revelation is a fascinating investigation uncovering evidence that will challenge and inspire you.